Hello, so today I'm going to share with you something I found very encouraging and interesting. So I did have some other thoughts I was going to share, but I've only just had a chance this morning to make a video and I learned something interesting last night and it's fresh in my mind, so I'm going to share that instead. So um, this term at preschool, we have an ocean theme, so every week we learn about a different animal most of the time, so I've kind of had ocean animals on my mind because I've been, you know, looking up facts to teach the children. Um, it, and then also a while ago, um, as I shared in one of my videos, how when I make my memory verse songs, videos, my memory verse tunes, um, that sometimes the kids at school ask me to put specific animals in. And a while ago, one of them asked me to put in a picture or videos of a blobfish. I had never heard of a blobfish before, so when I got home, I, I looked it up and I thought, ooh, there's no way I want to put one of those in my video. And thankfully, there were no free photos or videos, so I couldn't put them in any of my verse videos. Um, yeah, they're really ugly. I don't know if you've heard of them before. I'd never heard of them before, but they're very ugly. They look like a blob of jelly and they have like a big long nose, so they kind of look like a little bit human as well. Um, but anyway, I've been studying them a little bit because I find it quite fascinating, but I learned something important from this fish. So what I didn't know is that they only look that ugly when they're out of the water. So where they live, they live right down the bottom of the ocean where the pressure is very high. So you can only get down that low in a submarine. So when they are down in the water where their natural place is to be, they don't look like a blob of jelly, they look more like a normal fish. They're still kind of ugly, but they do look more normal. Whereas when you take them out of that high pressure place, they turn into kind of like a blob of jelly and they look extremely ugly. So I, should, I thought that was really interesting that when they're in that high pressure place, they look more like a normal fish. <clears throat> which I find interesting because I really hate pressure and I have a lot of different pressures like just getting out the door on time to school and usually I'm teaching a Bible class at school so that's an extra pressure and I always just really feel that pressure and I really hate it, the pressure it is. And sometimes you think, oh it'd be nice if you could just, you know, remove all of those pressures then you could just feel relaxed all the time and yet with that fish when it's out of those pressures then it turns into a blob but it just reminds me of this verse in 2 Corinthians chapter 1 and this is Paul talking for we would not brethren have you ignorant of our trouble which came to us in Asia and that we were pressed out of measure above strength in so much that we despaired even of life but we had the sentence of death in ourselves, that we should not trust in ourselves, but in God, which raiseth the dead, who delivered us from so great a death, and doth deliver, and whom we trust that he will yet deliver us. So Paul had a lot of different pressures, and yet in this verse, um, it says that we should not trust in ourselves. So when life does have no pressures, and everything is easy, then we don't feel the need to trust in God. But when things are stressful or difficult in whatever way, then we feel that need to depend on God because we can't do it ourselves. And another version says that verse, well, part of the verse, I was crushed so much that I despaired even of life, but that was to make me rely not on myself, but on the God who raises the dead. Um, so that is May 18th in the streams in the desert and it has this poem which I also thought of by I think it's by Annie Johnson Flint um, It says pressed out of measure and pressed to all length pressed so intensely it seems beyond strength Pressed in the body and pressed in the soul Pressed in the mind till the dark surges roll pressure by foes and a pressure from friends pressure on pressure till life nearly ends but then this is the purpose of the pressure. Pressed into knowing no help about God. Pressed into loving the staff and the rod. Pressed into liberty where nothing clings. Pressed into faith for impossible things. Pressed into living a life in the Lord. Pressed into living a Christ life outpoured. 
So if you are like me and don't like pressure, you might have different pressures to me. Um, I hope this story about the fish encourages you because we sometimes think if we just if we just get rid of all those pressures, then life would be <laughs> so much better. But if we did have all those pressures taken away and we had no pressure at all, then we'd be a bit like that fish. And we wouldn't see our need for God, so then we wouldn't we wouldn't know God's help like we do when we have those pressures and we, we're forced to depend on Him.